Hi guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about triangle inequality theorem. And so when we talk about triangle inequality theorem, it's based on looking at the sides of a triangle. And so whenever you're looking at um, finding the sides of a triangle, they may look somewhat like this. So they have just labeled three sides, A, B, and C. And really as they're looking at it, they're saying if I add any two sides together, it's going to be greater than the third side. And I will tell you, I think honestly, in this kind of picture, this is probably the one I see the most often, the way it's written. Because if you look at this, people would probably assume by looking at it, C is probably the longest side. And so if C is the longest side, if I add the two smaller sides together, they should be bigger, or they, that should add up to a number that is bigger than the largest side. So that's usually how you see people use it. So sometimes they'll give you three lengths of, a, of what they call a triangle and they'll say prove whether it's a triangle or not. So let me give you a couple examples so you can see how this works. Okay, so decide uh, whether each set of numbers can form a triangle. So we're going to do kind of this form and we're going to make this C be the largest number. Now, you can do it with any of these, how they're set up, but that's usually the easiest way to kind of compare them. So if I look at A, I have 5, 10, and 15. So 15 would be the largest. So I'm going to kind of make that C and kind of make these A and B. So remember, this is what I'm filling out. So A is 5, B would be 10, and C would be 15. So these two together are going to be 15. So on this one, 15 is not greater than 15. So this would be no. Okay, now if I look at the next largest one, the next problem, excuse me. If I look at the largest value, that would be C, or the be 16. So 16 would be C, and I'm going to make these two A and B. Doesn't really matter which way you do them, but that's kind of the easiest way to set up. A and B are just going to be the two smaller sides. So 6, 9, and then this is going to be 16. So this is going to be 15. This is 16. So 15 is not greater than 16, so this one would be no. Okay, now on the next one, I have 9, 40, and 41. So this is going to be my C. That's going to be A and B. So I'm just trying to set this up. And so 9 and 40, and that's 41. So this is going to be 49. So in this case, 49 is greater than 41. So this would be yes, those could form a triangle. So just being able to check them and plug in them in is probably the easiest. Now, there's also another component that they use with this. Um, and they say they want us to look at the angles. So here you can see that I have triangles set up, and I have links on all the sides. And they want us to name the largest and the smallest angles. So this is the way that it works. The big thing you want to do is be able to look at the sides that are given on your triangle. So if I were looking at this one, the largest side is going to be here. That means the angle across from it is going to be the largest angle. So that means that the largest angle is going to be angle C. Okay, now we're going to go through to the same thing on all the triangles. So if I look in B, this is the largest side. That's across from here. So that means that the largest angle in that one is going to be angle Z. If I look at this next one, I have 5.5, 4.5, and 8.5. So that's the largest side. It's across from this angle. So then my largest angle is going to be angle P. Okay, so finding the largest side, it's the angle that's opposite it or across from it. Okay, so now let's take a look at the smallest. So if I go back to A and I'm looking here, the smallest side is going to be 4. The angle across from that is B. 
So that means that the smallest angle in this one is angle B. Okay, in the next one, the smallest side's gonna be eight. The angle across from that is Y. So my smallest angle is gonna be angle Y. And if I look at this one, the smallest side over here is 4.5, and Q is across from that, so that means the smallest angle is gonna be angle Q. Okay, we're gonna talk about a few more of these next time.